Okay, so we're all set up down here, and um, um, we've zeroed the Y, we've zeroed the Z, our parts clamped. We've got our uh, we've got our chart here. We've got our chart with all our uh, coordinates on it, and uh, we're kind of ready to go here. So this will probably take a little while. So I'll show a couple of passes and um, then we'll, uh, I'll just uh, chew through it and then I'll show the last few passes too. So uh, we'll go from there. So let's make some cuts. Okay, so we're doing our stops here. Um, 'm okay, so you can see it it cut into that a little bit, but uh, that'll be okay so uh, for what this is you can see that's relatively smooth it tracked along that pretty well all right so let's grab the Grab the sample there. That's the sample. Okay, looking pretty good, eh? Pretty happy with that. I could file that if I want. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna for what this is. Kind of looks cool like that anyway. Um, last thing is uh, to cut this curve right here and install the, uh, the steel stud in that. So uh, anyway, that'll be next. Okay, so we got the uh, we got the shaping done. Um, it, it bit into this a little bit, uh, this boss a little bit, and I was wondering why. Um, from the layout, it shouldn't have done that. But then I went back and looked at my numbers on my little chicken sketch, and I had a um, a number from the top to here, and a number from the top to there and they were slightly different and on my layout I think I um, I put them um, anyway I, this boss has shifted a little bit on the layout so that's why I cut into that um, so this is six hundred thousandths and this was three thirteen down so anyway there was a thirteen thousandths uh, difference in the height so I ended up biting into that a little bit for this job it's not going to matter uh, if it was a mold uh, or a die or something like that, we'd be in big trouble, but uh, uh, not in this case. Anyway, you can see the, the marks here. This is relatively smooth. This would take a little filing. This would take a little more to get out. Um, but anyway, this is the, the old time tool makers were, were good at this, and uh, this is why they had giant thumbs and huge fingers, because they were always working these surfaces with files and, uh, and stones and whatnot to, uh, to blend them and, uh, and polish them. Um, so this is a technique you can use for that. So we got to put the uh, we got to put the little shaft in, and um, this is the shaft. And they had a roll pin going through it before, and uh, but they didn't put it on center. So it was just kind of rough drilled, and it was a permanent assembly. Never intended to come apart. Um, 
this is a press fit now, but I still want to put a uh, some kind of retention pin or screw in it. Um, so what I'm going to do is, so I don't have to do any weird clocking, and I can't pick this hole up anyway and figure out where it's going to be when I press this in. And So I'm not even going to try. I'm just going to drill and tap and put a set screw in the top here, a uh, little number 10 set screw that'll go into a dimple on the shaft. And, you know, if somebody needs to take it apart, they take the set screw out and press the shaft out. So, uh, so we'll go ahead and do that now and uh, then uh, finish this thing up. So... I'm just going to put it right in the center, doesn't really matter for this thing. So that's that. Um, then we'll cut this curve on here and uh, install this in here and I'll put a little divot on the shaft and uh, that's a done deal. So okay so we're kind of set up here so the idea is we're gonna put that in there and then we'll uh, if we need a little extra help here, we'll use this to help us press in there. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to warm this up to expand it a few thousandths to, uh, um, so it'll go. So this is what's going in there, which is 589. So I'm going to set my calipers for... Uh, um, maybe 592, something like that, 593, okay. And then I'm gonna put this little snap gauge in there, little telescoping gauge. And I'm just gonna kinda preset this. That feels okay. And this shouldn't go, which it doesn't. So what this does is this allows me to warm this up and probe this and uh, see that it's, it's expanded enough. Um, so that that'll go in there and then I don't have to guess. Um, so we'll get this kind of lined up. Be something like that. And I think I'm ready. I just put this down just to kind of protect the vise. I'm just going to use a, you know, standard little propane torch. Don't need a lot of heat here, so... Okay, just let it sit. 